So this headline and my shirt are admittedly clickbait. <laughs> I really just wanted to talk about WikiLeaks, especially given what happened on Christmas Eve and the amount of heart attacks that I had that night. <laughs> So basically, I think that we should be pressuring Donald Trump to do more to help Julian Assange. And I think that it's probably one of the most important things ever <laughs> that he get out of that embassy. See, the United States has never filed any public charges against Julian Assange. And I mean, there's probably, I'm sure there's sealed indictments against him, but it, it doesn't matter. President Donald Trump has the ability to grant a preemptive pardon, which means that he would never have to face trial or even be extradited here at all. Um, and that's exactly what he should do. The media is dependent and built on leaks, which Trump knows better than anyone. Um, often these leaks are false, and not only false, but have disastrous consequences, sometimes even deadly, like the case with the Iraq War. Um, unlike the fake news published by outlets like the New York Times to sell war to the public, Assange has published true, real information that has influenced the public to want to get out of wars on our own. Um, in fact, he was once held in the absolute highest regard by the left for his publishing of the Iraq and Afghan war logs, which crippled the agenda of the war-hungry swamp and dealt a massive blow to the Bush administration. Um, at the time, he was branded and trashed by establishment Republicans as an enemy of the state, and, and by some really shitty Democrats, too, like Hillary Clinton. But, um, you know, they, they were insisting that he just wanted to hurt the Republican Party and help the Democrats and all this nonsense, the same thing that we're hearing from the left now after the DNC leaks. And, you know, those DNC leaks probably also kept us out of war because they crippled the Clinton campaign, which is amazing. Um, so, with an unblemished record of truth for over a decade, WikiLeaks is the absolute antithesis of the fake news industry that Trump has spent so much of his presidency and his campaign speaking out against. I mean, mocking fake news in the mainstream media is fun, but bashing them is useless if he's unwilling to right this wrong and help probably the only outlet that has never had to issue a correction or a traction. We elected Trump because of his rejection of the warmonger establishment and the fake news media. With what he represents, Trump should be giving Assange a medal and throwing him a parade instead of allowing this political persecution to continue. Assange is the bravest and most heroic man on the planet and every day that he is without freedom is a true tragedy. You know, if Trump really wanted to stick it to the deep state, this would be how to do it. I mean, the same politicians and insiders of Julian Assange has dedicated his life to exposing to great harm to himself are the ones who are tirelessly working to overthrow Trump and the results of our democratic election. I mean, God, he, he's a hero. There's no other way around it. I mean, without WikiLeaks and their quest for truth, America likely would have never known about how the Democratic Party was misrepresenting themselves as impartial to supporters of Bernie Sanders. Um, we would have no idea that unbiased journalists were colluding with party insiders to assist Hillary Clinton the whole time. Um, we would have remained in the dark probably forever about the fact that the former First Lady and Secretary of State admitted that both Saudi Arabia and Qatar were providing clandestine support to ISIS while also giving millions of dollars to the Clinton Foundation. This is just a few of the things that he has done that have been absolutely so important. I mean, without WikiLeaks, we probably would have never known what was in the TPP and Trump wouldn't have been able to oppose it so hard and squash it before he entered office. I mean, God, it's, he owes this man a thank you. <laughs> like, Assange entered the Ecuadorian embassy in London in, on June 19th, 2012, where he applied and was granted political asylum. Since that time, the embassy has been encircled by police waiting on standby to arrest him and likely extradite him to the United States. WikiLeaks doesn't hack or steal documents. They simply publish things that they obtain or are given to them. You know, like what BuzzFeed did when they published that debunked bullshit fucking potty dossier from John McCain? Um, 
The entire media is based on obtaining leaked scoops and secrets. Assange just happens to be better at it than everybody else. I mean, if other journalists were held to the same standard that Assange is held to, half the New York Times would be in prison right now. I mean, God, there, there is no free press until he is able to walk freely out of that embassy. And Trump needs to do something about it. Yay, that's all. Bye. <laughs>